says, hi, Jess, I've chosen not to vaccinate my daughter. I feel it's putting low vibration in her system. Also, the vibration is going up on the planet. Am I correct thinking this way? I know deep down now. And again, it bothers me what others say. I know to go back to myself and then I'm fine. Okay, so I've talked a lot about vaccines over the years. And, you know, what it comes down to is the vaccine itself, because it's such a tiny, tiny dose, is not harmful to the body. But what is hard, uh, what it is not healthy for the, the body is the preservatives and the act, additives that they put inside the uh, vaccine to keep it a long shelf life. That's actually what's hurting the physical body. So politically, honestly, there's, that's, that's a true statement. But the way that they package things for shelf life especially in our country, is so much mercury, so much heavy metal, so much preservatives that that by itself cannot be sustained by the human brain and it acts as a neurotoxin. And the neurotoxin then kind of goes into distortion and can create a malfunction of the brain-body connection, nervous system issues, emotional issues, right? Coherence issues. And this is what happened to my daughter, Madison. Um, you know, I, I don't vaccinate any of my kids. I've been that weird parent that's been fighting the schools for 24 years now, right? But education is power. So, you know, you, it's your, your power yourself with your choices, okay? So with Madison, she didn't, I didn't vaccinate her. She went to stay with her dad one summer. Um, she couldn't get into day camp in California. And they said, well, the only way that we can do it is that you give her these vaccines to come. But without me knowing they basically gave her between 15 and 20 vaccines all at the same time like leg leg like they just plugged her full of everything she wasn't caught up on without my consent because dad gave dad didn't know how many she was getting so obviously this is her soul contract this is her journey this is her manifestation but at the same time what happened to her is her brain kind of seized and since the age of seven now, we've been dealing for it with this for six years, she has what's called apps. So she will completely lose consciousness a thousand times a day, right? And, you know, I spent the $10,000 on holistic medicine and we detoxed her and we, you know, we've done brain reentrainment. I mean, you know, it's like I'm her mom. So I have invested a lot of this. And then at some point I realized, you know what, this is her soul contract. This is her journey. She manifested this. We needed to kind of go into shame and guilt as a parent and process all those wounds. But on the flip side of that, your only job here is if you're adamant about not vac vaccinating your child is to get right with your decision. You have to be at peace with this or you'll become a victim. Yes, the world's changing. It's not even going to be a big deal because, you know, the world is waking up and vaccines are already, you know, easier to not vaccinate when I was fighting. But you have to get educated. Right. If you can have an educated conversation with someone who wants to tear you down for hurting your child, you know, it's all about education is power. So one of the things that I say is, you know, I'm like, you, you know, you're, you're right. Vaccines are fine. It's the preservatives. And then I explain 16 different ways that cause, you know, too much heavy metal poisoning causes an autoimmune disease. And I had an auto. You see how I'm like having this debating conversation with a complete empowering and I'm explaining and I'm in compassion of that person it's not about like well I'm not going to vaccinate you've got to have a position of education with yourself and if you have an understanding of why you're not vaccinating from a third dimensional conversation which means you could debate it you'll always feel safe with your choices okay so that's what I would recommend is educating yourself on that you may have and then holding your position of what you feel is right or wrong for your child Okay? All right.